Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given rational equation, 27 power x plus 343 power x divided by 63 power x plus 147 power x equals to 37 divided by 21. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's focus on this left hand side of this uh, equation only. And here I have copied down this uh, left hand side of this equation as you can see. And now we are going to manipulate numerator and the denominator. And now let's focus on this base 27. And here I have copied it down 27, which is equal to 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 3 power 3. And now let's focus on this other base, 343. And here I wrote down 343. This could be written as equal to 7 times 7 times 7, which is equal to 7 power 3. And now let's focus on in the denominator, 63. And here I have copied down 63. This could be written as 9 times 7, which is equal to 3 times 3 times 7, which is equal to 3 power 2 times 7. And finally, let's focus on 147. And here I have copied down 147. And if we put in a prime factorization, this could be written as 3 times 7 power Two. So now let's revert back our attention to our this original problem. So 27 power x could be written as 3 power 3 and then power x and then plus 7 power 3 and then power x and divided by in the denominator 63 could be written as 3 power 2 times 7 and then power x plus 147 could be written as 3 times 7 square and then power x. Now before we go any further, let's focus on this rules of exponent. We have got these nested exponent x power a and then power b could be written as x power a times b. And if we switch the exponent, if I write x power b and then power a, this is equal to x power b times a. And just keep in your mind that a times b and b times a are same thing. So therefore, these right hand side are same. Therefore, we conclude that these left hand sides are going to be same as well. Now we are going to apply this rule on these numerator parts. So this could be written as 3 power x and then whole power 3. Likewise plus 7 power x and then power 3. Now let's focus on the denominator. Over here we can see 3 power 2 times 7 and 3 times 7 power 2, we can see that 3 times 7 is in common. So therefore, we can factor out 3 times 7 whole power x and then we are left with in the parentheses as 3 power x plus 7 power x. And now let's focus on the numerator part, only this one. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and take care of it. And we can see that we have a sum of two cubes. Therefore, we are going to use this well-known identity, a power 3 plus b power 3. So this whole thing could be written as 3 power x plus 7 power x and then uh, times we can write uh, this one as uh, 3 power x and then whole square minus uh, 3 power x times uh, 7 power x and then plus uh, 7 power x 
all square. So let's go ahead and simplify it furthermore. I can write this one just simply 3 power x plus 7 power x. And here we're going to be using our rules of exponent. So this is same as 3 power. We have nested exponents. We are going to multiply them. So 3 power 2x and then minus. I'm going to leave that one as it is. 3 power x and then times 7 power x and then plus 7 power 2x. So our this numerator is going to be simply we are going to replace this one. So I can write this one as 3 power x plus 7 power x times 3 power 2x minus 3 power x times 7 power x and then plus 7 power 2x on the numerator. Now let's focus on the denominator. This 3 times 7 power x could be written as by using this uh, rule. So this could be written as uh, 3 power x uh, times uh, 7 power x and then uh, in parentheses uh, 3 power x plus uh, 7 power x. Now we can see that these factors 3 power x plus 7 power x and this denominator they cancel each other out. So therefore our simplified fraction is going to be 3 power 2x minus 3 power x times 7 power x plus 7 power 2x divided by 3 power x times 7 power x. And now let's focus on this part 3 power 2x. And here I have copied down 3 power 2x right up here. And its exponent 2x could be written as x plus x. And now we are going to use this product rule. So therefore this could be written as 3 power x times 3 power x. And likewise, let's focus on this 7 power 2x. And I have copied it down over here. And this could also be written as 7 power x times 7 power x. Therefore, our numerator could be written as 3 power x times 3 power x minus 3 power x times 7 power x and plus 7 power x times 7 power x divided by our denominator is 3 power x times 7 power x. In this next step I have divided this common denominator by each and every term by using this rule. Now we can see that 3 power x and this 3 power x cancels out and here 3 power x 3 power x is gone. This fraction could be simplified as 3 power x divided by 7 power x and here we got just simply negative 1 and plus 7 power x divided by 3 power x. Therefore we can write this one 3 divided by 7 whole power x by using uh, this rule and then minus 1 plus uh, 7 divided by 3 power x. And now we can see that our this left hand side has been simplified to this form. So I am going to replace this left hand side by this. So therefore we are going to equate these right hand sides. That means this 3 divided by 7 whole power x minus 1 plus 7 divided by 3 whole power x equal to 37 divided by 21. And now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation one that I have just copied it down and we want to make things simple. So let me go ahead and make a substitution. I am going to call this part as a u. So let me go ahead and write down let u equal to 
3 divided by 7 power x. So therefore, our this given equation is going to become simply u minus 1 plus, let's focus on this part, and here this 7 divided by 3 power x could be written as 1 over 3 divided by 7 power x, and we know that this is u, so this could be written as plus 1 divided by u equals to 37 divided by 21. Now let's go ahead and remove the fraction, so I'm going to multiply both sides by u on the left hand side and on the right hand side as well. So let's go ahead and distribute these ones. So that's going to be u square minus u and then plus 1 equal to 37u divided by 21. Now let's get rid of this uh, 21 from the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 21 on this side and 21 on this side as well. So let's go ahead and distribute once again. So that is going to give us 21u square minus 21u plus 21 equals to this 21, 21 is gone. So we ended up with 37u. Now let's go ahead and subtract 37u from both sides. So this could be written as 21u square and that is going to give us uh, negative 58u plus 21 equals to, they cross each other out, so we have equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve by factoring. We could also solve by using quadratic formula, but I think factoring is going to be a lot more easier. So let's tweak this part, uh, negative 58u could be written as negative 9u minus 49u. Let's go ahead and write down 21u square minus 9u minus 49u plus 21 equals to 0. And now we can see there's a 3u is in common between these two terms and over here 7 is common from these couple of terms. Let's go ahead and factor out 3u from here. We got 7u minus 3 and here let's factor out 7. So we got in parentheses 7u minus 3 equal to 0 and now we can see that 7u minus 3 is in common. I can put in a factor and then 3u minus 7 equals to 0. Now let's go ahead and separate these factors so I can write 7u minus 3 equal to 0 and on this side 3u minus 7 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and move this negative 3 on the other side. So 7u equal to positive 3. So u turns out to be 3 divided by 7. And likewise, we're going to be moving this negative 7 on the other side. So that means u turns out to be 7 divided by 3. But we know that our u value that we substituted equals to 3 divided by 7 power x. Let me go ahead and replace this one, 3 divided by 7 whole power x for u. And on the right hand side we got 3 divided by 7. Now 3 divided by 7 could be written as 3 divided by 7 whole power 1. Now we can see that our bases are same. So according to this rule, we can equate our these exponents. Therefore, we can write our exponent x equals to 1, and that is our one of the solutions. And now let's focus on the other value of u, which is 7 divided by 3. And we know that the 7 divided by 3 is same as 3 divided by 7 power negative 1. So therefore I can write this u 
as 3 divided by 7 whole power negative 1. But then our u value is 3 divided by 7 power x. Let me go ahead and replace that one. So 3 divided by 7 whole power x equal to 3 divided by 7 whole power negative 1. And now we can see that our these bases are same. So therefore we can equate these exponents. So therefore we can write x equal to negative 1 and that is our another solution. So thus our complete solution turns out to be x equal to 1 and the other value is x equal to negative 1. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.